Welcome friends and welcome back to Katie's Camp Kitchen. Today we're going to be using a Sabo heat. I recently discovered this. The great thing about it is that it will cook pasta from its dry state as well as rice. This bag cooker has different power levels so that you can reheat leftovers, heat a frozen meal, as well as cook meat from raw, and cook things like pasta and rice. Great versatility. A great find for campers, RVers, or people that just want to use less water and not heat up their kitchens. One of the large advantages of the Sabo heat over other bag cookers is that it does cook at a higher heat. This allows you to cook things that you would not be able to cook in other bag cookers like pasta and rice. In addition, when reheating meals, they reheat much, much faster. For example, you can reheat a meal in 30 minutes versus an hour in 15 or 30 minutes in other types of bag cookers. If reheating a prepackaged meal, you will need to remove it from paper and plastic and place it in glass or metal per the instructions due to the higher temperatures Sevo heat can reach. To minimize cleanup in this case, just place a piece of parchment paper on the bottom of the container before adding the food. The interior dimensions are 8 by 6 with a 5 inch height. Most food storage containers are 2 to 2 and a half inches high. This additional 2 inches or so allows one to put a salad or some fruit or their cutlery in their lunch bag. Here are the power consumption levels for each model depending on the power level set. On top is 120 volt and on bottom is the 12 volt. I did buy both these units. I just wanted to give you an idea of how much they cost on Amazon. One note when shopping for these is to make sure you get the adjustable heat level model. Also the 12 volt model on Amazon states that it has three heat levels. That's in error on the description. It does have six, just like the model that I have. For any of these bag cookers, I would Put them on a rack or silicon pad while they are cooking as they do get very hot underneath. Now let's cook some pasta. I cooked it for 60 minutes on power level 6 using a 12 volt version of this device. There's also a 110 version. Wow that's hot. I don't know if you can see the steam coming off. This was two cups of water and one cup of pasta and a half a teaspoon of salt. You see how it tastes. Perfectly cooked. This is a great way to cook pasta with very little energy, using very little water, and not heating up your house during the hot summer months or steaming up your camper. And there's the pasta after it's been drained. After the pasta had cooked for an hour, I drained it and then added the pesto right into the same container. Hmm, perfect temperature. This yielded two cups of pasta pesto with lemon and it tastes great. For the 120 volt version, we used 40% of the battery capacity of the EB3A and only 70 watt hours of energy. For the 12 volt version, we used 32% of the battery capacity. Thanks so very much for coming along on our exploration journey of low power cooking devices. We'll see you around the campfire very soon. Here are some other videos you might like. <laughs>